Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how you shade a region given by a linear inequality of two variables of the form ax plus by is greater than or less than a given constant. And there's two examples I've got here, one where it's zero and the other where it isn't zero. And I'm going to show you how we handle each of these different types. And I'll also encourage you to try these two examples here, which just revise the methods shown in these two examples. Now, in this first example, we're asked to shade the region given by this linear inequality here. 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 0. Now, whenever you've got 0 on the end, what I would suggest you do is make y the subject. So therefore, what we've got is 2x is greater than or equal to y if we add y to both sides. And then if I bring y to the left hand side, we end up with y being less than or equal to 2x. Now when we have it in this format, the next step is to draw the graph of y equals 2x. So it's a straight line graph, gradient is 2, and it passes through the origin. Now in order to find the region that satisfies this inequality, or satisfies any of these because they're equivalent to one another, you just take a point, any point on either this side of the line or on this side of the line. It's totally up to you. I'll demonstrate by showing you a couple of points. Now rather than take a point somewhere on the grid here, it's a lot easier to take a point on the coordinate axis. So I'm going to take this point on the coordinate axis, which is clearly on this side of the line. Let's say I call that point A, and its coordinates are going to be 0, 1. x is 0, y is 1. And if I take that point, what I do is I test it out. I'll show you. We'll just put here, test the point A, which has the coordinates then 0, 1. And I can test this point either in this inequality up here, which I'll call 1, or let's say I could test it in this inequality here, which I'll call 2. So let's say we start by substituting x equals 0 and y equals 1 in the inequality 1. And if that's the case, then if x is 0, this term is 0, and then we get minus 1, and then we have minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, which is a false statement. So I'll just write false there. So what that's telling me then is that any points on this side of the line are going to give false results if we put the x and y values into here. The region that we want that gives true results is going to be this region over here. You'd get exactly the same result if you substituted x is 0 and y is 1 into this inequality too. I'll show you. So if we were to substitute our results then into equation 2, then we have for y, that's going to be 1, and we've got less than or equal to 2 times the x value, 2 times 0, which is 0. And 1 clearly isn't less than or equal to 0, so it's false, resulting in the fact that, again, the result, what we need to shade, is in here. But you might not have chosen, say, the point A on the y-axis. Let's suppose you took another point, say on the x-axis. Let's say you took this point here. We'll call this point B, and its coordinates then would be 1, 0. And if that were the case, you'd be testing the point B. So let's say we test the point B with coordinates 1, 0. So x is 1, y is 0. 
And let's say we substitute those values then in the inequality 1. And doing that, we end up with 2 times 1, which is 2, minus the y value, which is 0. So we've got 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And as an inequality, that is true. And if you had decided to substitute it in the inequality 2, then it doesn't make any difference. Because here, you'd have for y, naught is less than or equal to 2 times 1. Naught is less than or equal to 2, which is a true statement. So, if you had taken the point b to test, then this is in a true region, and it would result in shading this area here, as you can see. So, several ways then that you could establish this shading. By taking points such as A on the y-axis, or point B on the x-axis. And if you just take, say, a point, any point in this region here, let's suppose you took this point here with coordinates 2, 1. If you were to substitute that into here, 2, 2 is a 4, minus 1 is 3, which is greater than or equal to 0. So you can see it works, and it would be true for all points in this region. Now, in this next example, you've got to shade 2x plus 3y is less than 6. And with this example, it's not got a 0 on the end like in this one. So what we do is one of two things. You can either draw the graph from this stage, or you can make y the subject. If you make y the subject, let's just put this down, it's going to be the same as y as being less than minus 2 thirds x and then plus 2. But when it comes to drawing this graph, y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 2, it's not so easy as doing this method, which I'll show you. And that is to say that when x equals 0, work out what y will be. When x is 0, you get 3y would equal 6. And so dividing by 3, y would equal 2. And then we set y equal to 0. So when y equals 0, we end up with 2x equaling 6. Divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 3. So if you draw the axis and put the point when x is naught, y is 2 on, naught 2 is going to be that point there. Just put a 2 in. And when y is naught, x is 3, that's going to be that point there. Then the line is going to look something like this. And notice I've drawn it as a dotted one as opposed to a solid one as we had here. And that's because the inequality that we're using is a less than. The same would be true if it was just greater than. It's always solid, though, if you've got an equals underneath, okay? Whether it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, draw a solid line. Now, I could have drawn the line from this particular inequality. It's got the form y equals mx plus c. It would have crossed the y-axis at 2, which you can see it does. The gradient would be minus 2 thirds, which is, let's say, a little bit more awkward to do. Not impossible. For every three units across, you drop two units. So you could work from that version. But when it doesn't equal 0 on the end, I prefer this particular method of drawing the line. Now, when it comes to testing which region, which side of this line we have to shade, it's very easy when you've got a line that doesn't pass through the origin, as we had in this example. Because the point that you should test is the origin itself. So let's say we test the origin, O, which has coordinates 0, 0, x is 0, y is 0, obviously. And we substitute this into the inequality up here, which I'll call 1. So sub in 1, 
Or you could substitute it into this second inequality, it's up to you, which I'll call two. So if you sub in one, let's put sub in two at the same time here. Okay, but you're only going to want to choose one of these versions. Then if you substitute naught naught into the one here, you've got naught plus naught, which is naught is less than six. So naught is less than six, which is a true statement. If you had gone for two, then you've got here naught is less than naught plus two. End up with naught is less than two, which again, as expected, should be the same answer. It's true. So that means that the origin or any point on this side of the line is going to satisfy this inequality. So what we shade is this, okay? Now I've got two more examples here that I would encourage you to try. So do pause the video and when you come back you can check your work solutions against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now with this one, shade 5y minus 2x is greater than or equal to 10, because it doesn't equal 0, then when it comes to sketching the graph, I'm going to adopt this method here. It's a lot easier. So if we draw the axes on a grid, then for the point where this crosses the x-axis, set y equal to 0. When y equals 0, if we have minus 2x equals 10, then the x would equal minus 5. So we can mark that point on here at minus 5. And then for where it crosses the y-axis, set x equal to 0, so 5y would equal 10, y would equal 2. So if we go up to 2 there and mark that on. So drawing a line through those two points gives us this. 5y minus 2x equals 10 then. Now because it doesn't pass through the origin, then we can test using that point. So test when x is 0 and y is 0. So if I substitute that into there, I end up with getting 0 minus 0 is greater than or equal to 10. So 0 is greater than or equal to 10, which is clearly a false statement. So that means that the region that we want is not on this side of the line, but over here. Now in the next example, we've got to shade y plus x is less than 0. And because this has a 0 on the end, trying to set x is 0 and y is 0 is pointless because we know it goes through the origin. So I'd want to rearrange this to make y the subject. And so y would be less than minus x. So need to draw the graph of y equals minus x and that's going to be a graph looking like this. Notice I've drawn a dotted line here because we've got a less than. Now because it passes through the origin I need to take a point on one of the sides of this line. Preferably on an axis, as I said earlier it makes it easier. It's up to you which point you take but I'm going to take this point here which I'll call A, and that has coordinates 0, 1. So I'm testing that point. Let's say we're testing the point A with coordinates 0, 1. And so if I substitute that result into here, then I've got for Y, which is 1, is less than minus X. That would be 1 is less than 0, which is clearly false. So that means this point A is not in the shaded region. The shaded region then must be here. OK, well, I hope that sets you up now for shading linear inequalities then in two variables.